Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, we've just taken this uh, 2001 TD5 and part exchange. Uh, it's a nice old thing. We just drove back um, 100 or so miles in the car. Drove really nicely. Love the TD5. It pulls very well. Uh, it's not immaculate, um, but that's going to be reflected in the price. Um, but it's a great, great fun uh, Landy. Uh, it's got bench seats in the back, windows cut into the back as well. Uh, it's had a new cross member at some point in its life and there is um, a small hole in the driver's side footwell. Um, really simple to fix, uh, like a 50-60 quid welder uh, job, um, but yeah other than that really nice, got some good history with it. Um, it's got as you can see at the front spots and a bull bar. These are a bit faded but nothing too serious. The paint works okay and yeah, there's a few light marks and scratches on it. Yeah the vehicle hasn't it's not a showpiece vehicle, but it's uh, it's absolutely fine. The um, windscreen rubber's got the usual sort of crazing around the side, and the window blocks a bit bubbly, but you know, the, the bulkhead is solid. These corners are the key bit here, absolutely solid. Um, a few sort of parking dinks in the doors, which I'm sure you can see. It's sitting on these, are these the freestyle wheels? I think they're, they're, they're freestyle alloys, and it's got an um, excess style um, side steps as well. Um, starts beautifully. Um, no problem with that. Uh, drives really nicely. No groaning from the clutch or anything uh, unpleasant. It's just a yeah, really, really nice thing to drive. Um, so there's the new cross member at the back. Uh, I don't know when that was done actually. I'll try and dig it out of the history. There's some good, good history uh, file with the car. Um, I'll just open up in the back here. As you can see it's got rear benches with seats. It's got a sunroof, which looks quite factory to me, but I could be mistaken. Probably am, knowing me. Um, big speakers there and there, which are wired up to a Kenwood head unit, uh, double din head unit. Currently not working. It apparently stopped working the week before I took it in part X. Uh, the guy thinks it was a fuse that's gone. Um, I haven't even had a chance to look at that yet, but we'll, we'll have a look if we can get the, uh, the head, unit, head unit going. Um, but as I said, drives beautifully. We bundle on the motorway at, you know, 70 plus miles an hour. Um, it's got the Exmoor trim seat risers on it. It's got the techno cloth seats. Cushion's a li little bit baggy there, but yeah, it's, 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 it's good. It's 96,000 miles. I think I've said that already. Um, but it's got the third seat in the middle, which is always fun uh, for the younger man members of the family. Um, but it's all really nice and tidy in here, actually. Um, let's open the bonnet. Let's have a look under there. See if I can do it one-handed. Remember where the bonnet latch is on a TD5. I think it is there. There you go. So I haven't cleaned under here or anything, but there is no nasty oil. It's pouring out of turbos or anything like that. Um, the centrifugal oil uh, filter sounds right when you turn it off. You hear you hear this sort of wee whiny noise when you turn these things off, and that's a centrifugal oil filter. Nice to know that's still freely spinning, etc. Um, roof is all good too. If you can see that there, all nice, no unpleasant bubbling or anything on the roof. Yeah, just a, just a just a lovely fun car. One one could spend a bit of money on it and and make it into. Uh, uh, yeah, a, a mint example, but as is, would provide a lot of fun. Uh, it's got an uh, MOT until uh, November, I think it's mid-November this year. Um, and I think just to get it through the next MOT would be there's a little hole just in that footwell there. You can just, just, just see it there. Uh, a very common place for these to go and you can buy a repair patch for the footwell, a whole footwell panel for about 30 quid. Um, so nothing major. Good fun car will go on forever and ever if serviced correctly. Uh, and uh, yeah, give us a call. Uh, it's not prepared to our usual standards, but it's a it's a different type of vehicle. We're not we're not going to try and ask top dollar for it. It's a, you know it's a nice affordable uh, way to get into Land Rover ownership. Cheers, bye.